Hello, hello. Welcome to the Restaurant Sales Funnel. I'm Jerry Tukoski. Thank you for joining us once again. And this is where you learn how to create automated marketing systems that build your database so that you can increase your customer lifetime value. So today we're going to talk about social media or the new way of doing social media. Now we all know that organic reach is plummeting. It's absolutely plummeting. But what it means is that you're getting less and less organic reach. And if you really want to grow your business in social media, the world, you're going to have to pay to play. Now, what we use is a, is a mixture of organic and paid traffic. Uh, anything that really works organically really well, then we can promote those posts. Uh, so you know it's going to work and that way it's, uh, you know, you have a more likely chance of just getting more fans and likes for your pages and more importantly then to turn them into paying customers. The most common question I get asked is, what should I post? Because right? they're running out of ideas. So they're going, well, you know, I need to post. What can I post today? You know, what, what, where do I get these ideas to keep posting stuff? So let me just quickly show you a little uh, strategy that will help you. Okay. So basically, 40% of your posts should be about... People, <laughs> people, right? People attract people, right? People who work in your restaurant, they're your staff, your chef, your front of house staff. It's about your customers. It's about your suppliers, right? It's anyone involved with your restaurant, your local community. People, people, people. People attract people. They've got to be fun, right? Have fun. You know, don't, don't, don't be, don't take yourself too seriously. The, the best posts are when they're seeing a chef or, 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 or the manager of the restaurant, the owner of the restaurant, looking a bit silly, or right? Having a bit of fun. All right, restaurants are fun, right? And, and be social, right? Have, have images and pictures and videos of, you know, people who come to your restaurant, you know, get them to, Tell them what they think of your restaurant. Hopefully it's good, right? Um, but it's just being fun and people orientated, right, for a restaurant. It's a social event. Or, or you know, if, we, if you don't do that, then all they're going to do is order delivery to their home, all right? If you want people to enjoy your restaurant, just show them how much fun uh, and, and the atmosphere that you have in the restaurant and it's all to do with people. People attract people. All right, they, all right. Now, as I said, they're your restaurant people, they're your fans, and they're your family as well. Some of the best posts I see is when the owner shares pictures with their family. All right? Nothing to do with the restaurant, but it gives you an insight to that person. You know, that person then becomes a human being, right? It's a real person. They've got family, they've got children, they've got partners, right? They're not just the chef or the or the maitre d of the restaurant. Right? They're people, they're real people, and that's that's the connection you want to make with social media. Right? So that's number one. So that's forty percent people. Now the other forty percent is your product. Right? That's your food, or that's your wine list. It's your special offers, your cocktails, whatever it is. That's. 40% of your posts should be about your product, right? So get nice close-up images of the food, the beautiful food, the texture of the food, the colors of the food that's just mouth-watering. They want to make them go to your restaurant. Now, the important thing, though, don't make them prof prof super professional, right? Just good images. We definitely want good images of the food, but not sterile, right? Like it, it's in a studio, right? You, you want to get the feeling that this is... This has been put on the table. This is what your food is going to look like when you go to the restaurant. And it's like picking up, you know, pick up your, your smartphone, take an image, get a good image of it or a good video of what's happening in, in with the food. But don't don't make it sterile, right? Okay, the other thing is suggestive type of posts, right? You you like you got this beautiful salmon, right? And just, it just so happens that you've got a bottle of Peroni beer right next to it, right? Suggestive selling. So when they come in, think, wow, that salmon looks great. Oh, by the way, I'll order that Peroni beer as well, right? This is upselling, right? So suggestive selling in your images. Now, the other images or videos that work really well is the preparation, right? Particularly starting from nothing to the finished products and see actually how you do it, right? 
Uh, that, that's obviously extremely well. We know that food porn is very, very popular on the Instagram, uh, but, but just but just keep it real. That's the main thing. Keep it real. So we had 40% people, 40% of product. That leaves us with 20%, and that 20% is promotions. All right? We don't want to overdo promotions. No one wants to go on your, your Instagram or Facebook, whatever account, and just keep sell, 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 sell. It's not good for your brand. And quite frankly, it's, it's just it's not going to work really well for you. That You'll have less engagement that way, right? Now, with promotions, promote things like what you do in your local community, right? Do you support, for, for example, the, the local hospital? Whatever you support in the community, promote that. Yes, absolutely promote that. Promote the special days. I mean, every day there's a special food day. Promote that, you know, if it's obviously relevant to your food in your restaurant. But also contests, right? Uh, everyone, everyone loves gift cards. Gift cards are a great way to, to really generate excitement about your restaurant. You know, get a $50 gift card or a $100 gift card. And those that miss out, give them a, a little, you know, consolation prize. It might be a little entree or, or dessert. But it gets people very excited about your restaurant. But if you do it over and over and over and over again, then it gets really boring. So, you know, make, you know, keep it, keep a lot of variety there. So... Now that you know what to post, I guess the question is, how often should you post? <laughs> this is a very popular question as well. The answer is, it depends. It really does depend. It depends on what you can actually do. What can you realistic do? There's no point in doing you know, 10 posts in one day and do nothing for the rest of the week. I mean, it, it doesn't work that way. You have to be consistent. If you can only do one post per day, then do one post per day consistently all right it's all about consistency all right that's the main thing all right now it's you know as i said just keep the post simple fun real and you'll get results now the other important thing is the quality all right it's quality not quantity all right if you can't think of anything to post and you're going to post a piece of rubbish that's going to have a negative impact because when people look at your post and they're lame all right, they're just dumb. There's nothing. There's nothing exciting about it. Uh, then they're not likely to come back again. So just make sure your posts are exciting and they have a real quality post. The other thing is engagement. All right, if someone comments on a post, make sure you reply to it. Right, I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of, lot of, uh, a lot of accounts where you know they've got all these comments. People are leaving, and there's no response. From the restaurant owner. I mean, this, what do you think is going to happen? They're going to stop engaging with you, <laughs> which is crazy, right? You want them to engage with you, all right? So you can, you know, so you, can, you know, it's the you want to build that no like and trust, all right, to drive them to your restaurant, all right? So really respond to any comment they make. Good or bad. Okay. Okay. And as usual, I've got a free gift for you today. It's the social media marketing for your restaurant in 2021. It's a, my very, very, very special guide for very, very special people just like you. And you can download it at vimico.com.au forward slash social media. But let's have a look inside, a little peek inside, you'll find the nine steps that will convert your restaurant into a money machine. I know that's a little bit cheeky, but it's true. How to use the customer journey to turn strangers into loyal fans. Use the three piece strategy to easily and quickly create social media posts every day. How to create profitable offers using the recurring business model. Get more online reviews that drive new customers to your restaurant. Grow and nurture your database and get customers on demand. Track your marketing spend to the dollar so you know what's working. Plus much, much more. All right, so download your free social media marketing guide today at vimico.com.au forward slash social media. This is Jerry Tukowski and I'll see you in the next episode of the Restaurant Sales Funnel. Bye for now.